Hey guys, Sim Mall here. Welcome back to another video. Hope you all have had a fantastic day, and if not, then I'm pretty sure you can make it better. Well, there's a uh, dozens of graphics mod for San Andreas on the internet, but have you ever thought which one have better looks and performance? I'm pretty sure you do. So for today's video, we have selected top five extremely most realistic graphical mods for Grand Theft Auto San Andreas with their specified system requirements. And by the end of this video, you can determine which one looks fantastic. And also, let me know your opinion on comment section. So without any further ado, let's get started. But before before we proceed, kindly show some love and support towards this channel. Already we are falling down since my channel got hacked. So a thumbs up will be much appreciated and watch complete video without skipping any part. By doing this, you will support the YouTube algorithm and this video will suggest it to other viewers like you. So without any further ado, let's get started and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Directics to Pano, my god. This mod still feels realistic even all those years. I still remember those days when we rushed for this mod to play and when this mod crashes, we immediately google for fixes and, and most importantly, how can we forget those low resolution gameplays on YouTube? Who teaches us how to fix the lag and got me as a one of them. It's been almost half of 2022 and this mod still have all those spectacular features from those glossy reflections to tsunami and roads. This mod comes with varieties of settings from low to high end system and we are talking about the system. So how can we forget the system specifications that you need to play on your PC? Here are the specifications you can all the best of the video and read those. Let me ask you a simple question, do you like eye candy? I mean those saturated colors. Then my friend NGSA 4.1 could be your next mod. Unlike Directors 2.0, this mod doesn't have any dark reflection on cars and field with a whole lot of new features like real-time depth of field, vibrant colors, complex setups for better visuals, and incredible reflection. Those eye candy colors are really attracting me towards them. Just look at the sky. I can't believe this is GTA San Andreas. It feels like I'm playing GTA 5. And this mod also comes with the extended draw to distance and a bit of crispy sharpness which feels more realistic while playing this game. And if you are interested to know the system requirements, then here they are. You can all the way pause the video and read those. Realistic keyword is most popular in gaming field. What comes in your mind first when you hear realistic word? I'm pretty sure it will be reflections, color similar to real life, right? So Summer is so sweet to have you as a 1x mode for this list. It contains all those spectacular real life features that we are talking about. The depth of field, in other words, blur on background with bokeh makes this game even more realistic than it was before. From heavy metallic reflection to those insane color depth, this mod have everything that you cannot imagine. Even in some scenarios, it looks way better than GTA 5, but the more feature the mod will be, they will simply slightly ask for more resources. That's the nice way of saying my PC couldn't handle this mod. But if you still have curiosity to know the system requirements, then there they are. You can all the way pause the video and read those. We all have heard about GTA 5, right? In fact, who doesn't? One thing I like about GTA 5 because of its lightning, and what if I say I can show you better lightning than GTA 5 while maintaining same visuals as GTA 5? Well, how about this one? I'm pretty sure you are impressed with the lightning this mode offers. And if you're not, then throw your PC and play Minecraft on mobile. Don't take it seriously, I'm just joking with you. So actually, this graphics mode is designed to give you GTA 5 vibes. Those bloom and sunny lightning wants me to install GTA 5 and start playing GTA San Andreas. But don't get too comfortable, because to get a smooth experience, you'll need this type of system requirements. <laughs> Now it's time for the moment that we all have waited for. Welcome everybody, the Big Daddy.
I think I don't need to explain about DirectX 3.0, one of the best realistic graphics mode for San Andreas out there. But the main reason for selecting this graphics mode for today's video is because of its volumetric clouds. There are some mods like Cloudworks 2.0 for this game, but this one beats all of them. Everything seems right until I realize this mod requires very high-end GPU. Other than that, I have no issues with this mod. By the way, if you're interested to know the system requirements, then there they are. You can all the way pause the video and read those. So thank you so much guys, I appreciate your patience, you watched the complete video till end, so I'll meet you in my next one till then, goodbye. But before saying goodbye, please hit that like button, subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell, so in the case if I upload a new video, then get a chance to be first in my video and, and the first guy who comment on my video will get pinned. So with all due respect, goodbye, take care. Bye.